Welcome to another Katia V5 tips and tricks video. This will be regarding the automatic dimensional constraints within Sketch, within the Sketch or Workbench. So as we can see by default, if I have this disabled, if you don't find the automatic dimensional constraint, keep in mind that this underneath the Sketch tools. So you can right click on the empty ribbon, you can go for the Sketch tools, you can have that enabled if for some reason you don't have that. So let's see, without this active, for example, if I would to draw a rectangle over here, starting from the origin, I have the possibility now to press tab. So the tab key will position me at the top. And over here, I see the width parameter. So for example, I know that this rectangle should have 100 millimeters. I can press another tab. This will take me to the height parameter and I can type in for example 150. As soon as I will press tab over here Katia will have this drawn for me. Since I also have the geometrical constraints added and the dimensional constraint this will be those parameters added which if I want to change for example I decide that this should be only 80 I can easily do that. But if you are not using the sketch tools tab in order to quickly position those. For example, if you would just define a rapid rectangle like this, since we don't have the automatic dimensional constraints enabled, by default Katia will just position this. And afterwards I need to go over here for the constraints and I need to select those, add in the value again for the vertical. So the same workflow. So this takes quite, quite a lot of time and it's not very productive. Therefore, I highly recommend that you keep this enabled, so the automatic dimensional constraints, because most of the time when you are drawing various sketches, you don't know exactly the final value for those. Therefore, you can just have that enabled, you can draw that rectangle, and as soon as you finish the sketch, those will be positioned. So now you just need to type in those. So I know that this should be 80, this should be 150, and this saves a lot of time when uh, when you are dealing with sketches in Katia. So I hope that you find this video useful. I'm gonna position a similar video over here to the left. Also I will put the Katia V5's tips and tricks playlist over here and a subscribe button on the right side. So I hope you find this useful. See you in the next video.